Sundays on Broadway tonight We're Drinking cold beer and it feels so right I'll meet you out on Broadway underneath Shamrock Light We're Gonna have a good time on the patio tonight There's a party down at Kelly's on Broadway tonight We're Drinking cold beer on a champagne night We're feeling all alone and you got no place to go Place to eat and drink. 2902 Broadway. Hey everybody, welcome to the Daily Muddy. I'm Brittany Bull, and today my guest is Kristen Lay, a director at the YMCA. Welcome, Kristen. Thank you. Thank um, you for having me. Thank you for being here. First of all, love the shirt thank you we're so excited this year this is a an addition um so with your registration you obviously get the legendary shirt that everyone loves but you can also add on a crew neck this year registration of what we're talking about today yeah. the annual turkey run 45 years it's your sapphire anniversary it is we're actually doing a giveaway this year really too. we're partnering with emerald city and they are oh, going to wow. do a giveaway so check back in a couple of days i didn't even know that that's awesome <laughs> yes so that's awesome. very exciting but like you said so we're adding this year you mm -hmm. have the option of this awesome sweatshirt mm -hmm. which um is it possible just to get the sweatshirt you can just get the sweatshirt. That's a great question. You can get online. Um, our website, it, you open it up and it's, you know, it kind of smacks you in the face. It's mm -hmm. like register today. And when you click on that register today, there's a, just an option that you can just get the sweatshirt. Yeah. I might have to order one yeah. of those because I don't know if I'll make it that early in the morning. What time does the <laughs> the run start? Um, it starts at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving morning, obviously. So um, our goal is to get people there 8 a.m. They take off um, and then usually everyone's done in about an hour. Mm -hmm. Um, so you can get home and, you know, eat your turkey and do all the fun things that yeah. Thanksgiving brings. You get your cardio in before you gorge. Absolutely. That's the goal, right? Yeah. Like, okay, I've done this. Check the box. Now I can go eat my turkey. That or you're getting the um, alcohol out from the night before. Absolutely. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, we're there at 8 a.m. Yeah. Okay, so can you register still the morning of Thanksgiving? Absolutely. So obviously you can register early. We inc uh, we inc Encourage We'd like yeah. encourage you to do it um, by Friday because you get the cheaper rate. Okay. So Friday, um, the eighth, I believe it's what it is. Mm -hmm. um, That's you'll this get the, Friday. Yes, you will get the cheaper rate um, after Friday. It'll go up ten dollars. Okay. Um, so thirty dollars and seventy five dollars for an individual and then a family. Mm -hmm. um, on Saturday, it'll go up the ten dollars. Okay. Um, so make sure you register before Friday. Um, that also guarantees your your shirt size. Yeah. I promise you, you will probably walk away with a shirt, but to guarantee you that it's actually going to fit you make sure that you register by friday perfect so this year also like i know we said the sweatshirt mm -hmm. you get your t-shirt yes absolutely so you come out with two yeah so and you, you can come out with a prize from emerald city absolutely and we've added a donut truck this year so last year we had cc's coffee come um and i swear the line was just as long to like register for the race to get coffee yeah um so we added a donut shop this or donut truck this year so we're very excited about that That's so you can awesome. get coffees and donuts um it just goes to show that it's not just about the competitiveness as well so obviously you can come run a 5k and a 10k and be competitive and we love that um, but for people who just want to come out um, and enjoy Thanksgiving morning, grab your coffee, grab your donuts, go on a walk, come back. We'll be there. Yeah. So you can cheer them on. Too. Absolutely. Okay. Competitiveness. Uh, last mm -hmm. thing. Do they get a prize? I've, I have. Yeah. So that we have age divisions and mm -hmm. there's lots of age divisions. It's about, I would say probably 10 years in that. Um, the top three of that age division gets a medal. So, okay. um, and then if you have a family and you're bringing your kids, um, all the kids get a medal for the fun run as well. Cool. So if you sign up for the one mile fun run, um, which is just to from the Y to St. Peter's and then you turn around and come back. So um, all the kids will get a medal when they cross cool. the finish line as well. And then last thing, do people w dress up? Absolutely. Actually, I think more dogs dress up than actual people. <laughs> we have lots of dogs that take part. Um, but yes, we usually we have a pumpkin pie. We have a turkey. Um, a lot of times we have a turkey leg that's running around. Oh. Um, obviously, the Y guy will be there, which is a huge hit as well. He's the one who usually puts the medals on the kids. Mm -hmm. So we have lots of costumes And then you around. encourage other people to dress Absolutely. up in their costumes. Dress up. We have Santa and Mrs. Claus every year, too. Mm -hmm. that, so, that are just runners? That are just runners that just want to dress up. We That's have awesome. lots of Christmas tutus. Um, they, you know, forget about the turkey. They 
want the Christmas. They want Santa. But I love yes, seeing please. the costumes and the pictures. Yeah, we encourage you to have fun with it. That I mean, it's not just, once again, the competitive side. It's a family tradition. We want the family to be here, and we want it to be fun. That's awesome. Well, I thank you for being here today. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Well. Coming up next, I sit down with Julie Quinn to talk about the John Wood Community College for Life. The Tower, a great place to meet and eat. But did you know the Tower has one of the finest drink selections in our area? Along with its incredible Mexican menu, the Tower specializes in tequilas for every taste. Names like Patron, Cabo Wabo, and Hornitos. And don't forget the margaritas. On Mondays and Tuesdays, stop by and pick up a single topping pizza and get Tower Margaritas to go. Enjoy the Tower at home or in our dining room, bar area, or the Tower's signature climate-controlled porch. The Tower Pizza and Mexican in Quincy. Welcome to the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. With six big screens, a new larger kitchen, and now more seating capacity, the Abbey is the place to be before, during, and after the big game. Come enjoy fan favorite appetizers, steaks, burgers, and a variety of daily food and drink specials. Can't join us? Carryout is available too. Now with the convenient drive up window to better serve you. 1736 Spring in Quincy. Opens at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. Come join all your friends at the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. Welcome out to Kelly's on Broadway tonight. We're drinking cold beer and it feels so right. I'll meet you out on Broadway underneath Shamrock Light. We're gonna have a good time on the patio tonight. There's a party down at Kelly's on Broadway tonight. We're drinking cold beer on a champagne night. We're feeling all alone and you got no place to go. So come down here and drink a beer on Kelly's patio. Kelly's a fun place to eat and drink. 2902 Broadway. The Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. Are you looking for the perfect venue for your next special event? Check out Utopia Event Center. Utopia has a large banquet room and an awesome bar area, perfect for anything from birthday parties to formal corporate meetings. It also offers a photo booth, stage for a DJ or a live band, and a fully stocked bar, all for only $300. Check us out at utopiaeventcenter.com or call Barn at 217-430-6559 for more information. Utopia Event Center, 900 North 12th Street in Quincy. Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. All right, welcome back. And I'm sitting here with Julie Quinn. She's with John Wood Community College and specifically the College for Life program. And um, for those of you that don't know what the College for Life program, I'm going to let Julie tell you a little yeah, bit about it. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Just as a reminder, College for Life is a program for uh, individuals 18 and older who have an intellectual disability mm -hmm. and choose to continue learning and growing uh, in higher education mm -hmm. at, in the college setting. I'm so glad that we have a local program like that Isn't here. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Only 16 in the state. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that mm -hmm. um, I read about them, and it was like the closest one here or around here was Chica the Chicago area. So there's a program at, at Lewis and Clark down in Godfrey. Okay. Um, so that's a little bit closer. Um, Bloomington has a program. Yeah. But to travel but, but to no, something it, it, like this. It, it's it's amazing in our community yes. that we have this. Yeah, it's awesome. And um, our spring course registration just opened this morning at 8 a.m. Okay. And so just wanted to share out with everybody some of our new courses. We have a new instructor joining us, um, a little shift to our schedule, and uh, yeah, just some fun opportunities Exciting. that I thought we could maybe chat about. Yeah. yeah. So what are some of these new courses available? S yeah. So, well, first up, we, we have a repeat, but this is only only our second time doing this, we are um, partnering with Blessing Hospital mm -hmm. and we have a workforce prep class. 
and half the semester the students are at the college um, they're in a classroom for about 50 minutes and then they go out and do some job shadowing within the college there are about six different areas that they go and shadow uh, a different John Wood employee cool. and then second half of the semester they go to blessing um, have a tour in four specific areas where an entry-level position might be a good fit for them um, environmental services health and nutrition the early childhood center and then Denman linens um, so they could real thorough tour of those areas and then they get to select where do they want to learn a little bit more you know in depth about the positions so then they go on their not on their own they're with folks but they mm -hmm. actually shadow the job do a piece of it and um, come away at the end of the semester having filled out an application at Blessing perhaps if they choose to and and possibly with a job so that's a that's really exciting awesome. one um, only six slots because we really like to give a lot of one-on-one um, uh, -on -one okay. coaching with that with that class um, and then back to just some of the other courses so first off we we did go ahead and um, make a required course and it's a self-advocacy course this will be the second uh, semester that we're doing that and so just you know how do I advocate for myself in mm -hmm. you know independent living in the school situation in higher ed um, you know in, in life in yeah. general how, you know those skills that we're just all trying to work and develop yeah so that's a required course and then other than that there are um, classes on budgeting working with finances um, we've got a new instructor her name is Angie Barnes she has mama mm -hmm. bees um, and she's going to be teaching a, kind of a service oriented course ca called um, gratitude gifts and giving back cool. and so service projects because not only are we maybe looking to gain some skills so that we're in the workforce but you know for some of us we're just gaining some skills on on life and so what can we do to be an active participant in volunteering making gifts that you know can yeah they maybe not necessarily out. needing a job so much but it's just being productive to towards the community yeah. that's awesome so that's an awesome so one. for the most part they are choice like they get to choose their classes other than that requirement yeah a lot of it's based on their interests it, absolutely Beautiful. so for each um kind of course period there are two different selections we hope that someday there might be three or four yeah. different ones you know if if um based on need but right now there's always a choice we have two kind of entrepreneurial opportunities we have a blazer cafe which is a course mm -hmm. we partnered with ef B oh, coffee cool. and we are um, we are offering their coffee for a suggested donation the funds go straight into our scholarship um, we kind love of bank. EFB here is that amazing yes. and and they have done a phenomenal job of helping us to train the students to run um, just an awesome little cafe with a great product and uh, it, it's been Good. it's been a great experience and then uh, Angie has another uh, entrepreneurial experience we have a gardening class we've had it you know several semesters mm -hmm. in a row but she kind of wanted wants to up the ante a little bit and we are going to be offering um, flowers and things at Mother's Day awesome. and then starts for people's gardens at the end of the semester. Oh, that is so, so cool. So great business opportunities for the students, great opportunities for people on campus or, you know, in the community yeah. to come. Um, we, we like to focus on fine arts as well and then some of the performance arts. So we have Brendan Shea from QCT teaching a theater class and that's just tons of fun. He'll take and work up some of the pieces that have been performed at QCT mm -hmm. and they'll do some, you know, some fun kind of that's things. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. And then um, we've got art, art, arts and crafts. Um, this semester we're gonna focus on what are some things we already have around the college or at home that we can create art with. So kind of DIYing it yeah. a little bit. So that'll That's be the new thing fun. anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've got a science class um, and then a meal prep class. And we're kind of focusing on crock pot cooking, some things that we could have like that freezer in the bag, in a bag, mm -hmm. sorry, meal in a bag kind yeah. of thing in your freezer. And uh, so that one is uh, a little bit higher. Most of the time courses are like two, 250 for mm -hmm. a one hour course, um, but that one will have you know, a little bit more extensive um, supplies so that the students are going to be able to take home some dishes that they're going to keep in their freezer and just pop awesome. in their crock pots. And so that'll be super fun too, I think. Um, and then a couple fitness classes. So easy fitness, we always try to accommodate all kinds of folks. So we've got some chair mm -hmm. things going on. Um, we've, we've even had some guests join us for fitness classes. So, you know, a family member. Okay. Uh, kind of a 
it's kind of a goal, and not kind of, it is a goal, that we continue to build inclusivity. And so, you know, really hoping that we might have some classes that, you know, you, you, know, you might want to sign up for a community ed class, and uh, someone might want to sign up for a College for Life course, mm -hmm. and those are going to hopefully um, meld a little bit yeah. at some point, and especially in that fitness kind of area. So those are fun opportunities, That's too. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so real quick about the program altogether mm -hmm. is – so you, every semester they, they sign up for courses and eventually it's a, is it a three year course altogether and they get a certificate? Yeah, oh, I'm so glad you asked that. So it, that is the way that the, cor that the program had run for, um, for a long time and really successfully, mm -hmm. kind of two things at once. Some people knew they never wanted to go out in the workforce and they weren't working for that certificate. Some people, that was definitely the goal. Mm -hmm. And so, um, the Tracy Family Foundation helped um, kind of do some st strategic planning, hard to say. Yeah. And they decided to kind of separate those two things. So College for Life is going to remain kind of that community ed piece, that ongoing education. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll sprinkle in a little bit of the, the workforce thing um, as well. Yeah. But the intense program where you're going to get a certificate is not going to be happening until like August of next year. And so that'll be okay. called a certified transition program. Okay. And and that will be um, some credit bearing classes mm -hmm. and, and really for, you know, that person that is ready, uh, they have, they have an intellectual disability and they're ready to get a certificate that's going to lead them to some, um, competitive, integrative employment okay. in the community. So kind of two separate things mm -hmm. right now. We have one more group that's finishing up the certificate. They had started before we had made this decision. Yeah. And so they will graduate with their, they'll earn their certificate awesome. in May. And then after that, we're trying to figure this out, actually, Brittany. Like, it's a huge um achievement to attend school for a semester yeah you know let, let alone some of these folks have been yes five six seven semesters so i think what the college wants to do is recognize the achievement the learning mm -hmm. you know maybe at little uh increments yes and and continue to acknowledge that kind of in a formal way mm -hmm. at, at graduation time but it's a little bit of shift and it change. always has to be i think a little bit of time when for anything to do with you know the people that we're talking about and yeah yeah the, you're always trying to do better and change and shift things mm -hmm. and um yeah just acknowledge the the learning that's happening it's really a lot of fun it's awesome. a great place to be so one last time they can find more information out on the website that is yep that is uh jwcc.edu okay and so you go to programs and go to college for life and that's where you register awesome. um please call there's a number on there too if you have any questions ever or or email as well and yeah we're really excited that the program is thriving awesome thank you so much julie yeah, for being here today i appreciate it i appreciate you. you stopping in yeah That does it for today's Daily Muddy. Don't forget to go out and vote, and we'll catch you here tomorrow.